Oh, my brother-in-law Luke's gonna come visit next August and uh, well, it's not even February yet. It's uh, January, actually it's inauguration day. So what's that, the 20th, January 20th. Yeah, he wants to come up and um, and we got a family reunion in August and he's wondering where he should stay. He has a wife and two cute little girls. One's uh, teenagers and one's uh, six. I think she's six now, little Finley. Finley. Anyway, she, nice family They're coming all the way up from Atlanta. So all the way up to Northeast PA. And I told him last night about the bus, and he started laughing. I mean, you got a bus, so I think he's got a, a vision in his head of that, of that uh, uh, Patrick Swayze movie with the <laughs> what's it next to Kin or something like that, where the old crazy uncle's got a bus full of snakes. Well, I'm gonna give him a little tour of uh, of the bus I'm really talking about, the '95 American Eagle that I picked up on Copart. Had to do some work to it, but it was a very light hit, so I got it fixed. Um, Funny little story about that. I guess a couple bought it and they were driving it and the throttle seized up. So they, the wife was sitting on the back in the, on the bed pulling a lamp cord for, for working a throttle and they, they had a fender bender and, and smacked the front of the bus. I have a video on, on uh, YouTube showing us, uh, showing us fixing it. But anyway, this is the bus. And she's, you know, she ain't perfect. She's, she's a 95, so she there's a little wear and tear. But she's really not too bad. Um, so I'm gonna do a little tour of the bus. For Luke. All right, Luke, no snakes. Like Uncle whatever his name was in uh, Mexican with Patrick Swayze. The bus is really nice. Leather seats, they're in nice shape. Driver's seat's nice. Even the steering wheel doesn't have like tons of goo on the wheel or nothing. It's got a TV right here, comes up right from between the passenger seat and a driver's seat that actually that whole TV thing raises it goes up to to the point where it's where you can um, where it blocks the windshield actually so we got lots of cabinetry they can put stuff hide stuff away if they need to plenty of storage this couch is leather too and it is in nice shape and no rip leather or anything like that and it pulls out into a bed this couch is leather, nice shape too, and it, that does not pull out into a bed. There's even storage drawers underneath the couches everywhere. That's the thing about these things. They really try to figure out where to, you know, try to make use of storage anywhere you can. Because space is limited. I mean, it's a bus. It's not like a full house. Uh, got a nice little wine, wine holder, and you put your wine glasses up there. It even has the, uh, what's it called? The New Tone Food Center. One of these food center gizmos. I got on eBay looking for attachments for them. People want a lot of money for the attachments for these things. I guess they were also used in houses. So I guess it's probably 110 goes through the, goes through the, uh, the uh, power inverter. Anyway, so I've got a nice little cook area here. It's, uh, it's a convection oven, microwave combination oven. Really nice. We got a two burner cooktop here if you want to make your bacon and eggs in the morning. Looks like no one's ever used it. It's clean as a whistle. Probably nobody did use it. I don't know. We have a laundry room. You can toss your clothes in there. It's a washer dryer combination so they come out dry when you're done. I'm going to turn on the lights here at the. There we go. The coach turned on the batteries. Now we got lights in here. So when you stay in it, we'll have it plugged in at the barbecue. So nice and clean, uh, beautiful woodwork. And I know it's not in vogue anymore, but nothing about this bus is because it's a 95 model year. So, you know, for a minute there, we were thinking, oh, we got to paint all that woodwork and get it up to date. And I got thinking, nah, we're going to embrace the 90s. So uh, cedar closet, cedar closet in here too. Nice full shower. Stand right up, take a nice shower in this place. Um, of course, I've got it in winter storage mode, so like that toilet paper roll and all that stuff's just sitting out, but that stuff I'll get put away. Probably give the thing a good scrubbing before we use it for the season. Nice uh, mirror with uh, nice uh, makeup lights. And then we go right into the bedroom here. And the bedroom's nice, and like I said, we're embracing the 90s with that headboard and these curtains. The bed is a full-size queen. It's not a short queen or anything like that. I have to get a mattress. I gotta, gotta get like a 12-inch uh, memory foam. I think it'll be easy to drag in here and open up the box and just throw it in here. It's got a TV spot for one anyway. I don't have a TV put in, but I'm gonna. 
Uh, it's got air conditioning and heat. It's, it's got everything. I mean, it's a, it's a rolling, self-contained apartment. So, really kind of cool. It's got windows with screens, so you can get a little cross flow. There's a, one there with a screen. There's one there with a screen. Yeah. So, Luke, I think you'll be more than comfortable. I think Stephanie will, too. Uh, tile floor. It's in pretty nice shape. Couple tiles cracked, but you know what? It's been uh, it's been what 95, 25 years. So the worst part about it is the floor, the carpet's a little grungy, but I suck it up good and clean it up, and it'll look okay. All right. Well, that's the tour of the bus. Oh, dinette! Almost forgot about the dinette. Nice chairs. <coughs> the upholstery's nice in them. They're comfortable. They're not ripped. They're not stained. It's pretty. Oh, refrigerator too. We got a the a, the three. I think it's a three way. Yeah, uh, AC or gas. It's a two way, so it's not a twelve volt too. And uh, yeah, nice freezer. And this works. I had it working, especially once it's plugged in. Everything works good. All smells fresh because I cleaned it out good. Okay, I guess this concludes the tour of the bus.